dumpster diving. <laughs> What's next? In the dumpster. <laughs> My boobs are jiggling all over. A pharmacist was arrested and accused of destroying more than 500 Moderna vaccine doses. This was fucked up. I mean, this is what happens when you have a society that's completely unhinged after four years of being gaslit by both parties. Nobody knows what to believe because they have a media that's not doing its job at all and has completely shown itself to be biased and willing to push whatever narrative they need to to line their fat pockets. And nobody has any clue about what's true because they can basically go confirm whatever they want to believe is true by just going online. What do we expect? So now we have we have people pushing a vaccine. We have health workers who refuse to take it. We, it's like it's the whole thing. It was bound to be a shit show. Yeah. It's a trouble. lot of wasted microchips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, why were those doses worth $11,000? How huh? much is a microchip these days, huh? <laughs> I thought we drove down the cost of those. Okay, our friend, the bodybuilder who married his <laughs> sex friend. doll. The friend of Dumpster Fire, uh, the uh, Kazakhstani bo- bodybuilder. But we can't remember his name. Uh, he <laughs> is spending the holidays alone after his sex doll is broken and out for repairs. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did say he liked all that domination stuff, so apparently he was a little bit too violent with his sex doll. Broke some I parts. Can't, I do hope I live long enough to see this sex doll murder this bodybuilder. <laughs> like, I hope that's where this part of the simulation story goes. <laughs> I hope it's to that blinding light song. <laughs> My favorite quote of But it's her dancing yeah. with covered in blood. <laughs> My favorite yes. quote of this article. Yes. I forbade her from Instagram. I did this a long time ago. Maybe I'm being too selfish, but that's the beauty of Margot that I can do that to her and she won't mind. See that guys? What I did at the beginning of this episode? It was a call forward to a joke. That's that's how many levels of chess we're playing on this show. <laughs> we're playing 5D chess. Okay, Ben Affleck being very Ben Affleck. There were just pictures of Ben Affleck going viral in a Boston shirt with Dunkin' Donuts, which is so Ben Affleck. My God, how on brand of him. But he always, every time they photograph him, he looks like he's like barely holding on. He looks like one, <laughs> one like bad day in traffic away from a relapse. <laughs> you know, like a couple of, I just feel like he's just white knuckling it. It's Poor fucking guy. He seems so tortured. And it's not very Batman. Like, shouldn't Alfred be doing this shit for you? <laughs> Batman, not a real superhero, by the way. I have a lot of issues with this. Iron Man and Batman are not superheroes. Sam, what are your thoughts? I want to know why. Because they're just rich dudes who have nice toys. You are only a superhero if you have powers when you're naked. (laughs) I I like that argument. I think it's a valid argument. All right. I'll accept that. My superpower happens to be being naked. (laughs) I would like a rebuttal to my argument in the comments below. (laughs) Look how confident she is now that she's married. (laughs) I have the patriarchy. I have the full backing of the patriarchy. And now I'm unstoppable. 